back here at this one now charged with capital murder. But Robert Cantrell was practically convicted on social media. His family called us to say enough is enough. That breaks my heart. As a mother of three young children, Haley Cantrell was shaken by the murder of Jasmine Barnes. To know that a baby was murdered for what? For nothing. But never did she think her uncle would be dragged into it. He's not a murderer especially not to a ch child. Despite the arrests of two men identified as suspects, Cantrell says as recent as today, there have been threatening comments on her Facebook page because of a link drawn between her uncle, Robert Cantrell, and the sketch the Harris County Sheriff's Office released last Thursday. When I first seen it, I w I'm not gonna lie, like I teared up. As a white man with blue eyes, the resemblance was uncanny. Friday, in a now deleted Twitter post, activist Sean King with a million followers spread it even farther, writing, quote, we've had 20 people call or email us and say he is a racist, violent, expletive, and always has been. Just tell me everything you know. Haley says the threats like this one. I heard someone is going to rape, torture, and murder the women and children in your family have been constant. I just want everyone to, like, back off. Haley knows her uncle isn't a Boy Scout. In fact, he's in jail right now on a long list of felonies and got out of prison just before Hurricane Harvey. Sean King did not respond to repeated requests for comment. Haley, who fears for her uncle and her family's safety, wants this to spread too. He is innocent of this terrible crime. The truth is out. It had nothing to do with us, nothing to do with my uncle at all. Jr.'s side of the story in the shooting death of a seven-year-old girl. He was in court this morning. Prosecutors say that an argument at a club ended in a tragic case of mistaken identity. Good afternoon. I'm Sherman Chow. That all ended in the death of seven-year-old Jasmine Barnes. Matt Doherty live at the courthouse where he has just heard from prosecutors. What else did they tell you, Matt? Well, Charmaine, here's the suspect as he walked into the courtroom today. A big piece of this story was revealed this morning. That's where prosecutors say they think those shots were fired. They say Eric Black and a man referred to as Larry W. had been at a club the night before. Prosecutors say the two men got into a fight with some other guys at the club. Then they got into their car. Now, while they were on the road, prosecutors say the men spotted the vehicle driven by LaPortia Washington that looked similar to the vehicle of the other guys who they'd been fighting earlier. They say the other man with black began shooting multiple times. Investigators recovered eight shell casings at the scene. And one of those bullets struck little Jasmine Barnes in the head, killing her. Eric Black is being held without bond right now. We asked prosecutors, what about this Larry W. guy? What's happening with him? Will he expect to find some charges coming his way pretty soon? They said they would not comment on 